Three cheers for East Bengal. Hilfi Bure! Rangers and Celtic. Samne Dako! Everton and Liverpool. Manchester City, Manchester United. And Uyya Mohan Bagan is big all. When you come to Calcutta, it's a huge, huge, passionate place for football. This is the only game that divides the whole city. It's like a train wreck waiting to happen. And you can't do anything about it. The conquest of India begins from Calcutta and from Bengal. Football provided a different space, a cultural space to hit back at the British. And that provided immense political satisfaction, immense emotional satisfaction to the Bengalis. So the very possibility of an Indian nationhood was denied by the colonial perception of India. The real major turning point in the history of football comes in the year 1911. This was a very major event. Mohan Bagan, with 10 of the 11 players playing bare feet, beats this British team. The whole Bengal was supporting the team whether they were Muslims, whether they were Christians, whether they were Hindu, anything. If they can defeat British, it is something like a revolution. We've beaten them in football, now we'll get these people out of the country. People came up to them and said, when is that flag looking at Fort William, which was the bastion of British imperialistic power at that point in time, when is that flag coming down? The event of partition in 1947 the becoming of India and Pakistan as two states that the refugee influx into Bengal began. Hindus start to move back. And where do they move? They move to Calcutta. These people who were elites in their part of the world have no houses overnight, have no money. Suddenly they come into a land which is alien to them. What do they do? They adopt sport. The tension between those who belonged here as such and those who came from the other side of the border got expressed in the soccer field. East Bengal club automatically becomes a kind of focus point, a rallying cry. Oh, this is part of the homeland we left behind. Supporting East Bengal is something that uh, reminds me of my native country and all that. Socially and politically, this rivalry becomes a symbol of the supporters' struggle in life. Maybe in the game of life, I've lost, but then when my team wins, I feel I've, I've, I win. Until I got the job here, I didn't know anything about Indian football myself. It's not a friendly rivalry when you go to the ground. You know, in the, in the stadium, it's quite, it's quite hostile. This is the only game that divides the whole city of maybe 80 million people into two parts. Uh, half are with East Bengal and half are with the Mohan Bagan. And, and that's what makes now, you, if you go to any coffee, any restaurant, any shop, the main discussion is about tomorrow's game. This, this is our normal step. I used to pray, pray to God, to all the gods and goddesses of, of our religion. If at least in a week I don't get to see the Green Marine jersey, people will fall sick. Still, we will feel proud to support our club till, the, till our last breath. 
one word it's like it's brilliant when the stadium is full you know you are ex- actually playing a football match you play that game like you never played before so give your best because uh, you know whole india is watching this match in 50s and 60s i thought there's a golden era of the indian football life was of struggle you have to fight you can't get anything without fighting how much we have practiced in the day 5 6 hours just mad after football calcutta has a different charm to play in calcutta there is a tremendous charm still now it operates for a westerner uh, as you land in calcutta it might just hit you straight on the face you should come here in the solex stadium which will give you the actual culture of calcutta or if you come down to calcutta if you don't see this match you won't be able to know the what, what is calcutta if you get to exchange some emotions with people of mm. calcutta yeah then you find that it's it's a, it, there's different vibe to it than any other city in india because bengal is a very emotional people. very emotional whoever doesn't know what is kolkata they'll just have to see an is bengal mohan bagan match they'll know what is kolkata <laughs> but it's all about passion it's the same story here it's about passion and what drives sport at the end of the day it's passion mm-hmm.